Good morning, everybody. We are on another adventure. I am off to Maui this morning for my first ever channel crossing. So I'm not swimming it solo, I'm swimming with a team of six, so myself and five others included. But I'm pretty fired up. It's gonna be an amazing weekend, and I'm excited to take you guys along. But let's get it. Six more boxes to go. Really good. Team crushing it. <laughs> yes. We're Woo! One more to fill the spot. So we are here with Team Salty Snacks at the Maui Food Bank packaging meals. This is an amazing charity. We chose to partner with them because one dollar feeds four people. And so we are here today packaging meals for those in need. We're raising money. Our goal is five thousand dollars. We're very close. And uh, the swim is tomorrow. So this is kind of our pre-swim warm up. Um, but yeah, just doing an amazing thing for the community. Stoked to partner with My Food Bank. They do such good things here on the island. And uh, we got the whole team here. Everyone's working hard, packaging and stuff. So let's uh, keep it going and uh, support the My Food Bank and the My Community. Woo. This is our, our taper for the swim tomorrow. Getting ready to crush it. Let's go. Those biceps are on fire right now. <laughs> My Food Bank! Mission accomplished. My Food Bank done. We're gonna go chill, grab some lunch, and then we're gonna get together and do a little tier photo shoot with the squad. Have some fun swimming. I love it here. What you got here? Team tier, selfie snacks. All right, guys, gather around. We've got our Black Ops. Oh my God! Some sun defense. So this is for our sun defense Thank out you. in the water. These are pretty. Wow. We gotta figure out the yeah. suits. Oh so my we're going, gosh. We're going blue camo. Yes. These nice. are amazing. Those look good in the channel. The competition's not gonna see yeah. us coming. Oh no. <laughs> we're blending right in with the channel. Yeah. Uh, Girls 32. So. Oh, oh, that's Thank you, Tier. setting us all up. Um, we're gonna do some swim, catch some photos, get some video, and then we go rest and get ready because the race starts tomorrow. So we're here crossing the channel from Lanai to Black Rock here in Maui. It's gonna be an intense weekend of swimming. Morning. You guys ready to go down? Go down. <laughs> See you. Let's 
Let's go. Ready to get tatted up? Oh, dude. Let's go. Race Let's day tat. Let's go. Race day tat. Let's go, Slates. Morning, everybody. Get the ski ready, put them plugs in. We don't want anything happening. We're out here. We're out. Number one, put the plugs in. Plugs so, in. huge shout out to Keone. This is Keone's boat right here. This military green, look at this. It's sick. Poe's gonna be keeping us safe all day. Yep. Scaring away them sharks. Let's go. Second changeover, we're two swimmers down. We've got coach in the water. The ski's about to drop her off. Cam's gonna swim up, a little touch, and we swip, swip? We swip her? <laughs> we swip her and we swap her, put her on the boat, and get back into it. So we got four more swimmers to go. Hopefully we hit the finish before, and otherwise we go from the 30 minute legs to 10 minutes each until we finish. Fire it up. Yeah, coach! Talk to us quickly, strategy for our next swimmers. What do they need to think about? What do they need to learn? What did you discover in the swim? Okay, so I think the key is to start pretty smooth, maybe like 65, 70% and just build the first 10 minutes. And once you get in that rhythm, get a little warmed up, start to build your legs, pick up the tempo a little bit. Heck but just yeah. cover the distance per stroke. Distance per stroke's huge. Yes, baby. That was, that was my big thing. It's like, I was maybe like 20 minutes, the last 10, lats started to yeah, started like shorten. Yeah. But then, do you feel like to the chop, like you start to <laughs> Take back my advice from before. The strategy is take it out fast and just pull on. <laughs> Swim. You too, man. <laughs> we're into our second rounds. We're into our 10 minute swims. We're making we're making bets right now on who's gonna be the finisher. We're just trying to kind of gauge from how far we are. So. Let's see where we at. So we're finishing right up Black Rock and these buoys. Let's go, Hans. I might get another swim. I don't know. With 10 minutes to go, probably not. We're pretty close to the end. Crazy. Pace is good. <laughs> Yes, what we're gonna do is once our last swimmer is in after Slates, if Slates doesn't finish it, we're gonna all jump in as a team and finish it together. So I'll take the GoPro in with me, but I'll leave the camera and I'll see you guys at the harbor.
we've been talking a lot about what went down and like our experience and stuff with the whole event and um, there's just so much to, to kind of be said, but I think we're gonna try to keep this kind of short and sweet and just fill you guys in on everything. I think obviously with like the title of this video, they probably have an idea that a there was a little, bit, a little yeah. bit of drama involved. So just after we did our team prayer on the boat, um, everyone's just like in such a good mindset and just yeah. so happy and excited. Like the day is here, everyone's high-fiving and hugging. The safety coordinator, the guy who was supposed to run all the safety for the event, um, he was on a jet ski, so he could whip around and check on boats and swimmers and do his whole thing. We emailed actually the head race coordinator, the guy who puts the event on, he's been doing it for like 30 years or something, and we just said, hey, we want to bring our jet ski to for safety and to get our videographer on to do back and forth on the boat. The biggest concern for the channel crossing is, is safety-wise, is boat props. Like everyone thinks like, oh, there's sharks or weather, big swells, currents, like everyone will tell you the number one danger in the channel is boat props and there has been incidences in the past where people have been struck by props, um, which is obviously horrifying and the last thing that you would ever want. So we figured, hey, instead of having our swimmers, you know, getting off and on the back end of our boat that we had next to the prop, let's use our jet ski to take the swimmers back and forth for the changes. And so Poe came over and we, we emailed the, the, the guys and said, hey, can we have our jet ski out there? And basically their email back to us was, it's totally on you guys. We're not gonna tell you no, but like, you know, kind of all liability and it, it's like, it's, it's your choice, yeah. but we're not gonna say no. So in our mind, we're like, okay, that's our decision. We're gonna take our jet ski out and, and use it. So we show up race morning, Michael's in the water. Uh, our, this is our first incident. The race court safety coordinator comes over on his official jet ski, goes right up to Poe, who's on our jet ski, and says, hey, what the F are you doing? Who the F are you? So we're kind of <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, like, hey, like, wh what's going on? Let's talk. Like, we emailed the, the race director and he said, you know, that it wasn't a big deal for us to have our ski as long as it wasn't affiliated with the permit of the race, we could have it out here. Uh, he's like, I didn't hear anything about that. I don't effing know you, I, you gotta be three miles off the coast, these are the DLNR laws, and just started kind of preaching like all these like Hawaii DLNR jet ski laws to us, and in my mind I'm like, hey, like, you know, laws have changed, here's, here's, we have our licenses, we have all of our stuff, our safety, and finally he's like, you gotta, you gotta get the jet ski the F out of here, blah, 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 he's gotta be out, he's like, I don't care what you guys do as long as he's off the Lanai channel, like three miles or something, so I just said, you know what, let's not, yeah, That's we, don't want, we don't want to make issues for ourselves. Yeah. And that was one thing too, is hard to be. We went in there with permission and approval for, for what we thought was going to be awesome and set us up for one, a very safe crossing. But we also wanted to be able to create uh, a story through this and be able to document it because we think this is a really special opportunity to just show how beautiful the channel is and this experience as a whole. And so it's kind of sad to start it off with that. Poe had kindly accepted their safety coordinator's request, went out three miles, I guess, off the coast. So we just said, Poe, we'll meet up with you after our second or third change in the channel, no worries. We were probably 200 yards behind that second yeah. place boat. Yeah, and so. that jet ski safety coordinator guy who was already onto us came out of nowhere, came up to us, again, kind of an aggressive tone, said, hey, you, there's other boats that think you guys are creating like a calm water vortex between the two. So we had the jet ski here and the boat here. They were going together and the swimmer was in the middle so we could kind of protect the swimmer from both sides and kind of steer them the right way for direction. And he thought, and other teams thought that we were creating some sort of calm water pass so that the swimmer had smoother water to swim in which then was giving us an advantage. But if you really think about it, like Michael said, that's kind of impossible because two boats side by side create like a really big rough middle section. So if you fall behind actually, yeah. you're stuck in swimming uphill in wakes. Right. So actually it's more of a disadvantage if, yeah. if anything. You know, as we were getting into the mooring towards the beach, Poe was there to help us push our last swimmer and to cheer him on and to just be there for water safety. And he, uh, the safety director on the ski runs up cussing our buddy Poe out for being there just and from a very safe distance um, telling him to get out and to just I mean it's, it's crazy because for me I'm like thinking of all the profanities that were being thrown it was like we just sat on the boat like cringing like, like what in the world like, is, is happening, happening? yeah, yeah it's so um, weird. and that's when he then rolled around at once and Poe being Poe Poe was like okay like the nicest I'm, the nicest such a good guy and so he's just 
you know, slowly makes his way out. He's like, I'm not going to fight on anything. The Keone, our boat captain and poet, told us that this guy who was snapping at us the whole time had threatened to basically call the, the sheriffs on us. And he's like, for what? Like, what, what are you talking about? And we just thought he was kind of joking. And we get back to the harbor. We're cleaning everything up. We're driving home. And Keone calls me. And he's like, bro, I just got pulled over by the DLNR. He's like, they drove an hour to come find me because this guy called the, the DLNR officials who are basically cops that monitor the water and the oceans and boats. And he's like, he was screaming at the DLNR on the phone, these guys are being reckless. They're endangering swimmers. You got to pull these guys over. These guys, like, it was just crazy. We're like, what the heck? Like, dude, like, we're literally here to make the race safer. We have video footage and you guys will see this in the yeah. vlog. Poe was in idle. He'd never even used the throttle. He was in idle next to our boat right. the entire 10 miles. It was wild. And, and this guy was like claiming that we were endangering other swimmers. Like, what is he talking about? Wow. So we were just, the fact that that all went down was just a huge bummer. And it was a bummer because, because he was very unprofessional, very mature, and handled the situation completely opposite of how you would think a 40-year firefighter and first right. responder would handle a situation. Yeah. Well, and I think it's fair to say, like, I understand if there's misunderstanding. Maybe he wasn't communicated or, or given the clear direction that we were going to be out there with our ski. It would have been a simple, hey, let's ring up the director of the whole event. It's very easy. He's on hand. And we say, this is the email we've got. This is the clearance we've got. Here's our licenses. Boom. Super cool. Um, but it was just sad to see that everything became so explosive and it took away from the event. I think it took away from him working with the other teams. It took away from the safety being focused on True. everything else. Point. And I think there was so much focus on us and what we were doing when all we were doing was creating a safer environment for us to race. Right. Um, but at the end of the day, we had an incredible time in the water. Yeah. You know, it's like we don't want to come off disrespectful or salty or you know, sour in any way because, you know, we won the event. We're forever going to be the champs. We know that yes, we, we were fair and square the whole time. We have everything on filmed on video and documented. But at the end of the day, we were respectful in the rules and everything. And so it was sad to see that it ended in a disqualification taking away from just this. And it's not like we were even winning a prize. No. So there's no money on the line, but it's just that small recognition to where it's like they, They're not they had the power to take us. that away from right. us. And so they're taking away yeah. the work we put in and the recognition of our win. And that's what, like Michael said, it was just a little bit sour at the end there. Yeah. So take it whatever it is or take it for what it is. Yeah. Um, but we appreciate you guys tuning in. We appreciate you following along in this. And any of those who donated too for the yes. food bank and supported us, we yeah. packed over 260 meals for the, those in need. We raised $5,000. And this um, is also something you guys can still help us and still be a part of. Um, the link is down in the description. So the Maui Food Bank GoFundMe will be open for probably another week or two. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anything we can do to help. And that was the goal coming into this whole event is to serve the community and to enjoy the ocean. Um, and it's not going to be the last video and we, we did made that. together. We did and that. We, did that. And that's we accomplished it. Yeah. And that's exciting. And so who knows what's next on Maui. Yeah. I think we're going to have to have Michael back and do some uh, some training, some spear fishing, yeah, yeah. maybe do some rock some, runs. Yeah, <laughs> maybe get the dirt bikes out That'd and yeah, we'll have a little a little yeah. more less I'll ship competition. My bike over. Yeah, we'll just have some fun. Yeah, ship the moto over. So you. so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow the crew on Instagram. We've got everything in the description. We love you guys. Cheers. Aloha. It's all mental, dude. <laughs> it's all mental.